trigonometric identities. Tan cube x divided by 1 plus tan square x plus cot cube x divided by 1 plus cot square x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x divided by sin x cos x. So here we are going to use the Pythagorean identities. Okay, You remember 1 plus tan square x is secant square x and 1 plus cot square x is cosecant square x. Correct? So that is the Pythagorean identity which we are going to use here. So we'll start with the left side. Now we have left side as tan cube x divided by 1 plus tan square x which is secant square x plus cot cube x divided by 1 plus cot square x which is cosecant square x okay so this is by using Pythagorean identities right you know three Pythagorean identities one is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 the other one is 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x and the third one is 1 plus cot square x equals to cosecant square x so we used second and third here to simplify the left side okay now what we can do is we can write them in terms of sine and cosine since right side is in terms of sine and cosine correct so let's write this in terms of sine and cosine so tan cube x is basically sine cube x over cos cube x and secant square x is 1 over cos square x we'll write secant square x as 1 over cos square x okay so that's divided by secant plus similarly we'll write this so cot is cos over sine so we'll write this as cos cube x over sine cube x and cosecant is 1 over sine so 1 over sine square x correct so that becomes our left side now you can see we can simplify it so we get cos square x divided two of them gets cancelled so we are left with one cos x here so we get here sine cube x divided by cos x plus cos cube x divided by sine x okay. now we can take common denominator and simplify it further cos x sine x and that is sine to the power of 4x plus cos to the power of 4x. So, so that is what it reduces to. Now, we can use this as a perfect square. Now, I'll teach you a strategy to do it, right? Uh, you know, what is a plus b whole square? a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square correct now here we have a square plus b square but we do not have 2ab term so what I will do is I will add and subtract 2ab term again my point I will add and subtract 2ab that means I'm going to write this as sine 4x plus 2 times sine square x cos square x and I'm writing plus 4x cos 4x minus 2 times sine square x cos square x. So what I did is I added and subtracted 2 sine square x cos square x. This is like adding 0, right? Divided by, in order to make it a perfect square, cos x times sine x. So now my numerator actually is if I combine the first three terms, I get a perfect square in the form of sine square x plus cos square x whole square. So this is my first three terms. These terms. 
a square square of this right sin square x square is sin to the power of 4x times 2ab 2 times this center term and that is my cos to the power 4x correct so that's how i get this as a square of sin square x plus cos square x minus 2 sin square x cos square x divided by sin x cos x i'm just writing it as i want correct do you see the result now sin square x plus cos square x is 1 correct okay? that's a pythagorean identity right so you get 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x divided by sin x cos x well this is a very beautiful example and you will see that we used all the three Pythagorean identities in this particular example, right?